eight, I'm going to talk about hematological system changes during pregnancy. Okay. So as we know that pregnancy is a hypercoagulable state, and also it's a state whereby we, the, the mother has to feed okay, the support of the fetus in the uterus. So there are obviously a lot of changes in the hematological system, especially to prepare the mother for the fetus and also for delivery. First, we are going to talk about all those changes that will occur to the mother you know, and to support the baby. So, of course, during the baby, they need a lot of red blood cell. Okay, the erythropoiesis are increased by around 30 to 40 percent in the mother. Okay, so when erythropoiesis occur, increase, and then the red blood cell volume will have to increase by about 20 to 30 percent. Okay, and at the same time, the plasma volume will have to increase as well. The plasma volume increase by around 40 to 50 percent. Okay, so the total blood volume which is comprised of the red blood cell volume and also the plasma volume is about 40, is about 50 to 60 percent increase. It's the sum of these two. So when you add on the red blood cell volume and plasma volume, you get the total blood volume which is approximately 50 to 60 percent increase during pregnancy. Okay, so this disproportionate increment in the red blood cell and plasma volume will cause a physiological dilutional anemia okay? okay, whereby you will see the mother, okay, the HB hemoglobin level will drop to around 11, 11.5 grams per deciliter during around third trimester. Okay. So this is the reason why physiological dilutional anemia occurs. Alright, so there's a disproportionate increase in both RBC and plasma volume because a plasma volume increased two times higher than RBC volume therefore there's a state of dilutional anemia. Okay, so these are the things. Next, we are going to talk about the coagulation factor. Okay, so coagulation factor are all increased. Okay, the one that promote coagulation, to promote the uh, clot or increase size factor 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 and plasminogen all are increased because they want the blood the clot easily especially during in labor so these factors are increased by about thousand times during pregnancy okay however all the factors that inhibit coagulation okay like protein C, protein S, antithromine 3 okay and also the factor 11 and 13 are all decreased Okay, they all are substantially decreased because they want to inhibit the process of uh, coagulation. So they want to promote coagulation, so all these things have to increase. Also bear in mind the platelet level also are increased. All right? However, because of diluted, these are diluted by the plasma volume, so the numbers will appear low for the platelet. However, these are around still within a normal range of 100 to 150. Okay? The units. So 100 to 150 is within the normal value for a mother who are in pregnancy state, especially towards the third trimester or in labor during delivery. Okay, so these are the changes that we can usually see and you have to know about that.